Hello, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, we'll talk about quarantine hotels. Now, to choose your hotel, guys, consider your needs. Whether my dietary, special dietary requirements ka ba, whether you have kids. Do you want a room, a studio type? You want windows, you want a balcony, you want food deliveries, diba? And also consider the prices since na us nano FWs, balik payans, former Filipinos, foreign nationals, we shoulder our own quarantine. We pay for that. So yeah, choose what you can afford. No? How to book? Guys, you can book three options. You can contact the hotel directly. So in this video, I will mention um, the contact details of the hotel and how you can book with them. You can book through third-party sites like hotelbooking.com, Agoda, pwede yan. And then, um, pwede bang mag-quarantine together? Yes, yes. Here is a picture. Family quarantining together. Lolo. Mama, Papa, dalawang bata. They quarantine in the same studio type allowed. Yes, family quarantine is allowed. You can quarantine together with your family as long as you're in the same household and you travel together. Now, these hotels that I will be mentioning, I am not affiliated to them. This video is not sponsored. Um, these hotels are hotels where Kababayan stayed and they stayed here, they quarantined here and they said, I am happy, I am satisfied. So I want you guys to feel the same thing. Let's go ahead with our recommended quarantine hotels. Let's start with City Garden Hotel Makati. Now, this hotel, according to Angie who stayed here, the service is superb. Food is good at a reasonable price. Full meal, 650 pesos. Clean room with complete amenities with city view. Wireless internet, inter, internet, internet is live. Pwede mag-order sa restaurant nila. They take, uh, they supply guests drinking water for free, 6.6 .6 liters. So yan. Um, this is the pictures of the room itself. This is not from their website, but from the traveler itself. So you guys can, uh, kung ano talaga yung nasa room, ito talaga. The rate here starts at 3,888 uh, pesos per night with full board meals. You guys, I checked their um, price sa website. You may find a cheaper deal sa other third party sites. So you guys, no, kayo na bahala. This is just a guide. And then here is their, they have a website or email to contact to if you guys want to inquire or book. Now let's go ahead with our next quarantine hotel. Good one is Tropicana Suites. Their price starts at 3,507 per night. According to Chris, just sharing my amazing experience at Tropicana Suites Hotel. It was a great stay, amazing service, mababait ang staff, libre 5 gallons of water, allowed food delivery. Ooh, sa mga gustong mag-order outside, food panda, grab, yan, Tropicana Suites, guys. Masarap ang breakfast, malinis at spacious ang unit, malakas ang Wi-Fi. Oh, di ba? This is not a 5-star hotel, but it definitely exceeded our expectation. Oh, bonga. So, yeah, Tropicana Suites, guys. And, um, ma malaki yung rooms nila. Hindi lang room kasi it's a suite. Yeah. So, there you go. Next up, we have Somerset Olympia Makati. The rate here is at 3500 per night, according to Lillian. In a short review, thank you, Somerset Olympia Makati, for my five days wonderful stay. Or imagine quarantine. And she said the word, Wonderful. So talagang okay yung experience niya. <laughs> Somerset Olympia Makati. Guys, you can book directly with them through the discoverasar.com. Or they have their number to call. Next, we have Heroes Hotel in Santa Ana, Manila. So this one is a bit cheaper. Ito, medyo affordable ito. 2200 95 per night. And this one nga price highs, this is superior room already. With breakfast, good for two people, welcome drinks, free coffee all day, free afternoon delights. Mm, sounds good. So they have their own website to book, guys. Heroeshotel.ph. According to Sam, who stayed here, allowed din ang food and grocery deliveries. Uy, hotel staff ang maghahatid sa room. Meron din silang set meals you can choose pam pag nagsawa na ka sa food panda. Oh. So, sobrang bait ng staff and management. Responsive sila sa messages and requests ko. 
This is their suite room. It's a one bedroom with balcony. My chair, my chair and table din sa balcony. Malakas ang Wi-Fi. Enjoy yung toddler ko sa Adv Avengers theme room. Oh, di ba? She booked through Agoda, 2-1 per night. Oh. Sometimes the third part decides have deals, guys. So just check. Mahaka, mura pala. Next up, we have Seda Ayala. Now, this one is in Cebu. If anyone here is watching and landing in Cebu, check them out. Seda Ayala, medyo pricey. 3 8 3800 per night with full board meals. According to our kababayan, room is okay. Um, typical deluxe hotel room with fridge. Three gallons of water, sanitizing spray, toiletries. Yeah, and you can book directly through sedahotels.com. These are the photos of the food they serve. Okay. Mm. Next up, we have Seda Vertis North. So there's Seda BGC, there's Seda Residences. So you guys can choose. But this one, according to Karkababayan, is malinis, comfortable, chaka justified naman yung room. Kung ang view ang tatanungin, Wag masyado mag-expect kasi kabahayan. Meron silang writing desk, big TV, mini bar, coffee facilities. Yan, if you want to book with them guys, 4-5 per night, 1 person. If it's 2 person, 5-5 five, five, with full board meals na yon. Or you can uh, um, buy a package for 29,000 pesos included na yung full board meals, RT-PCR test, and airport pickup. This is with Seda Vertis North. If you want, you can go to balikan.ph website. Again, balikan.ph website to avail the full package. Next up, we have Crimson Fill Invest Hotel. This one is at 3,130 per night. Not too bad. You can book direct with your website. According to Michelle, who quarantined here, Sa mga naghahanap na hotel, I highly recommend Crimson Fill Invest. Sobrang sulit sa sarap ng food. I mean, if when I looked at the food, guys, I wanted to quarantine too. <laughs> Uy, sarap naman. Look at their breakfast, guys. The fruits, fluffy pancakes, and sa yumada, may pastry pa. Ang sarap ng food nila, guys. Next up, we have City Garden Suites, Manila. This one is at 2395 per night. According to our kababayan who stayed here, they are very accommodating. Mabait ang staff, they also gave me a tray of fruits. And wala silang four-volt mirrors, pero araw may free meals ako. Huh? Um, ano pa? Request to assign you as a higher level floors like 11th floor pataas. They also allowed my grocery delivery from family. Allowed then outside delivery, pero hush lang po, and they are not supposed to. Yeah, hotels are not not actually allowed to do food food deliveries, guys. So we have to appreciate appreciate the ones that allow us to. These are the photos from our kababayan. So the room is not um, huge, no. Tama lang, pero these are two beds, naman, queen size and single bed. Next up, we have is Valero Grand Suite. So this one also is highly recommended. Marami na nag-stay dito. One subscriber commented he was in Valero. Hi, if you're watching. Full package actually, guys. For 24,500 pesos, this is five nights na stay ng quarantine. Includes full board meals, RT-PCR tests. Pero if there's another person, then you have to add 6,500. Yeah, and this is Valero Grand Suites. And these are the photos according to our kababayan. I highly recommend this big and super clean hotel that I stayed. Okay for couple and magina. Sobrang bait na mga helpful staff at malakas ang internet. O, di ba? Ganda ng review. Valero Grand Suites. Next up we have, for those who will be landing in Clark, Park Inn in Clark. The, um, the rate is at 3950 per night. Medyo mahal, pero... According to our kababayan who traveled from Australia, she quarantined here. They don't allow food deliveries. You can order through reception. They have free breakfast, have coffee, creamer, and sugar na rin with fridge and room. The room is decent. Okay. Next up, we have uh, for those landing in Cebu, there is Quest Hotel. This one is very popular for travelers. Their rate starts at 2669 per night with breakfast included. Yan, they have big liters of water, big TV with small table. Now, going back to Manila, we have MySpace Hotel at BGC. O, ito itong pinakamura so far. Starting at 1,700 pesos per night with breakfast na yan. You can book direct with them through their Facebook, guys. You can message them or you can email them. 
That's their email. According to our kababayan, quiet and clean. No ref, no balcony. Pwede naman mag food deliveries. Oy bonga, pwede food deliveries. Clean naman, so I mean for the price. <laughs> Can't complain. 1-7 with breakfast. Okay na yan. Next up, we have Saitadine's Hotel. So one Filipina, um, her foreign husband went home, quarantined here, and had good reviews. And April also quarantined here, she said, We're really happy we chose this place. A one bedroom with living room and kitchen. Breakfast is included. At least we can cook to save money. Outstanding customer service. Bait nila and you can order food online too. Oy, bonga. So this is Saitadin Sal Salcedo Makati. You can also choose Saitadin's Manila Bay or Saitadin's Millennium Ortigas. The rate starts at 3.8 with full board meals. Add 1,000 for the second person's full board meals. So yeah, Saitadin's Hotel. You can see here's a picture of the usual setup. Um, your food will not be delivered by the staff to your room. It will be left outside the door on a table or on a chair. So this is what it looks like. Next up we have, this one is an affordable option, Go Hotel. So their rate starts at 1,500 per night. So iba-iba yung rates. Itong malapit sa airport, Go Hotel Airport, mabilis mapuno as mas mahal lang konti. But if you want to book with them, they are very responsive sa email. Reservation at roxacoasiahospitality.com Ito po, according to our kababayan, the room is very clean, accommodating, and friendly staff close to the airport. Everything basic you need for a decent hotel quarantine is provided. And outside deliveries are allowed. Good. Next up, we have this one is also very affordable, Red Planet Hotel. Starting at 1,300 pesos per night. Meal is at 200 pe 250 pesos per meal. There's Red Planet Asiana, Aurora Boulevard, Makati, Ortigas, Mabini. So far, narinig ko Mabini maganda yung reviews. You can book with them direct sa website. According to our kababayan, great service, very fast Wi-Fi, clean rooms, and delicious food. So these are the pictures of their food. Hmm, okay naman guys. Our kababayan stayed in Ortigas. Medyo mura guys. So if you're trying to save money, then go with this one. Maganda yung reviews. Next up, we have Alicia Apartment. Now, Alicia is parang is special ito. Kasi if, if you go to the Bureau of Quarantine website, hindi you can't find them. But they are actually accredited, guys. If you go to One Health Pass, you can find them. So the rate starts at 2,300 pesos per night with full board meals. And they're very unique. It is an apartment setting, residential. You don't feel like you're in a hotel. Look at the picture. Let me show you the picture of a kababayan quarantine here. Look at the, She looks like she's taking a picture in her house. But no, she's in quarantine. Saka <laughs> if you look outside the, the balcony or the windows, while well, the view is uh, maybe not so pleasant. Uh, hindi siya pang city view. Kabahayan po. It's a residential area. You may expect karaoke or, you know, um, Rooster noises, so that's yeah, typical Filipino um, neighborhood noise. But the room looks good, it's clean and residential style. I really like it. According to Pauline, it's clean and most decent priced quarantine facility with pretty basic amenities such as hot shower, TV, kettle, fridge, electric fan. Wi Fi is just okay for FB and the likes. Food is delicious and just the right portion for me. Yan. Overall, I would recommend it and will always say good things about this place. Oh, bonga. You can message them, guys, on Facebook. They're pretty active. Next up, we have Hotel Jen. Guys, if you want to book here, this is not my hotel, but they have a total package included na yung transfer sa airport, RTPCR, and then your six days quarantine. It's for 25,000 pesos per person. This is, um, uh, Hotel Gen by Shangri-La. So, 25,000. Lahat-lahat na yan. You can book through balikan.ph And these are the actual photos of our kababayan. It has a balcony. Yeah. Okay naman. And that's the last hotel. So, some hotels that I suggest na not mention here is 588 Enriquez Residences. 
ang Y2 residences. But this is all for this video. I hope, guys, it helped you decide on where you're gonna quarantine. And if you did, uh, share it to anyone who'll be traveling soon so they can make a decision on where they will quarantine. And if you appreciate this video, please share and like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'll see you again um, with another video. This video took a lot of time, a lot of research. So these hotels are really recommended, tested, and proven. And if you need magsusundo sa hotel, as sa airport, magahatid sa hotel, I recommend these taxi drivers in Manila. They're reliable, they're tested and proven. I know some of them personally, so please guys, book with them. They're honest, and they can even buy groceries for you. So yeah, go just message them on Facebook. I don't have their number, just Facebook. Message them on Facebook. I'll see you guys with another travel update. Stay safe and God bless you. Bye.